Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? First of all, today is Christmas Eve, so I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, a Happy Birthday if your birthday happens to fall on Christmas, whatever else you may celebrate, happy to it. I hope you guys have a great holiday, I hope you guys get everything you want, and more importantly, I hope you guys spend quality time with your friends and family. The holidays are all about being happy and being with your family, so make sure that you take a break off of the computer this week, after you watch this video of course, and hang out with your friends and family and show them that you're thankful for having them in your life during these holidays and I'm definitely thankful that I'm able to make videos for all of you guys for more holidays to come it's amazing to have so much support behind me and I'm thankful for all of you guys so from one heart to another I hope you guys have a safe and happy holidays but anyways moving on with the video I'm just killing some abyssal demons today because I needed to use my festive aura and I have this prize pendant of strength so I'm technically killing two demons with one axe by doing this but anyways that's what I'll be doing within this video as for the story which we're all here for I sent out a Facebook post last night at some ridiculous hour like 5 a.m. or something and asked you guys what topic you would like to hear me talk about for today's story time now a lot of people wanted me to talk about Santa and my experience with Santa Claus etc but sadly I didn't grow up with the whole Santa tradition my mom is Jewish and my dad is not so I celebrate both holidays but I was mainly raised Jewish so I never had the entire belief of Santa or even knew who he was for that matter I actually think I mentioned that in my tooth fairy story time where I found out my mom was the tooth fairy I talked about that briefly I think but anyways the most suggested topic besides that one was my first crush on a girl and I thought this was an awesome topic because I actually did have a crush on a girl so that's what today's story time is about so anyways let's get into the story I had a crush on a girl her name was Lauren and we hung out a lot from I guess kindergarten to about second grade or third grade and we were just really good friends really close I liked her and she liked me I was a cute little fucker in like kindergarten to third grade I was like this little stud I know when I was like two years old I had like Goldilock curls it was pretty disgusting and I really don't like my mom for doing that to me but she loves when I was two I have this baby picture where I have these giant goldy curls and it's terrible I really look like a feminine man I look like a girl I just look like a girl that just cut to the chase I looked like a girl because I had these Goldilock curls in my hair but anyways, I was a cute little kid from like kindergarten to third grade. I don't know what happened. I guess there was just some transformation and testosterone and whatever. But anyways, I was this cute little kid. And this girl liked me a lot and I liked her a lot. And I know you can't really feel emotions on that kind of level, I guess. Like, I can't be like, oh, I want to marry this girl or, oh, I love this girl. But I definitely liked her a lot because I saw her a lot. She was in a lot of my classes and our moms were friends. So we hung out a lot. We were invited to each other's birthday parties all the time. And if you guys remember the video where I talked about one of my birthday parties where I went to the Animal Kingdom or whatever it's called, the pet store, and I held the ferret and I showed you guys that ferret picture. But if you remember that story, she was actually at that party and she gave me, I will never forget it, she gave me a Rugrats VHS tape for like the Rugrats Thanksgiving or something like that. I forget what the exact tape was, but it was a Rugrats VHS tape. I think I still have it. So Lauren, if you happen to be watching this, which would be really, really awkward or crazy. I still have your VHS tape, and I'd love to watch it with you sometime. But anyways, the story is about this girl, Lauren, and I had a giant crush on her, and she was definitely my crush until about 6th or 7th grade, I'm not going to lie, probably about till middle school. And she kind of got more popular, and I got less popular <laughs> as time went on. I became one of the bottom-tier people, and she became one of the top-tier people, and then she kind of just stopped talking to me. She found a whole new group of friends. But basically, in kindergarten and third grade, we hung out a lot. We went to each other's birthday parties, like I said, and we just liked each other. I mean, I have video of me and her hanging out and stuff like that. It's not video like I can upload right now. It's video that my parents filmed for my birthday parties, etc. But I had this giant crush on her. And like I said, you can't really feel emotions on that kind of level. But I knew after hanging out with her a lot that I liked her a lot and that she was a really close friend of mine and that I really liked her. And then as I grew up and I realized that girls aren't gross and girls don't have cooties, I realized that I actually liked her and I wanted to be in a relationship with her or be with her or whatever you want to call it. So as we grew up, like I said, we kind of drifted apart. She kind of went into the famous people tier of high school and I went into the uh, don't talk to lower tier people of high school and it just kind of didn't work or it just didn't happen. I don't remember when we really started not talking because that was just so long ago. I think it was about 7th or 8th grade, right when I started getting picked on and no one really wanted anything to do with me, that she kind of was like, oh, I don't want to talk to him anymore. I'll just go off and do my own thing. And I don't blame her. Uh, it's kind of dick after you were friends with someone for a while and then you kind of went off and did your own thing. But 
I don't blame her at all. I don't blame anyone at all. And it happens. So I kind of was upset that, like, she wouldn't talk to me and we weren't friends anymore. And that she was still my crush and I couldn't, like, do anything about it. I couldn't, like, talk to her about it or I couldn't ask her out because if I asked her out, I would get laughed at or she would turn me down. And we just stopped talking, really. And that's kind of upsetting because after you hung out with someone basically your whole childhood and then you want to hang out with them again and they're like, oh, no, your social status is at a whatever mark and you can't hang out with this person it's kind of heartbreaking you're like well that's kind of stupid you know me i'm not this weird kid that everyone hates i'm someone who is your friend and who likes you and basically we never really talked ever much since then and we would see each other in high school walking down the hallway and we know about our past and we know how close of friends we were and she would say hi to me and i would say hi to her but nothing more than small talk so my first crush was just head over heels i really did like her and i don't think she liked me the same way and maybe when we were really young, from kindergarten to third grade, that she kind of liked me too. But then once she kind of realized that what liking is or finding love with someone was, she kind of just steered away from me. So it was kind of heartbreaking because I really did have feelings for this girl. I thought she was beautiful. I thought she was funny. I thought she was just all around such a cool girl. She played soccer. She did all this stuff. So I thought it was just a really cool girl in general, and I really wanted to be with her. But it was heart crushing because I couldn't just because... She thought she was more popular, and I was kind of down on the bottom tier. But no one should let social statuses separate any two friends from just being friends, let alone from being together. So I know there's a bunch of corny movies in Hollywood about that, where the nerd gets the girl or the nerd loses the girl to the jock. And there's just all these kind of stories that play out. But just real-life situation right now is you should never hate on someone because of their social status. You should never not be with someone or not be friends with someone because of their social status because you know the person truly, especially if you were friends with them before they kind of got picked on or their social status was low. You know them personally, so you have to be the bigger person and be like, I know this person. They're not weird. They're not dumb. They're not whatever. I'm going to be friends with them. So if you have that kind of social status problem in your high school, middle school, I don't know if it happens anymore. I still think it does because I think that's going to be within the world forever, but I know in my school it was, so if you have that situation or have that problem, go and be friends with that person of the lower class or lower tier. Get to know them because I'm sure they're just great people in general, so don't hate on anyone because of social status because that's just stupid. But back to the crush thing is she kind of pushed me aside and didn't want anything to do with me, and we just had small talk from then on, and we haven't really talked much since then. I might drop her a Facebook message eventually, I don't know, I'll talk to her and try to catch up with her eventually, but... That was my first crush, is this girl Lauren, I'm not going to give out any more information of course, but she was my first crush, we hung out all the time, and then as we went on to middle school, high school, we kind of drifted apart, and I still had a crush on her until about 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and then I realized that there's other girls in the sea, and she wants nothing to do with me, and I kind of just let it be, so that's my first crush, I was deeply, deeply in love, just kidding, I was just very infatuated with this girl, and that's pretty much it for that, that was my first crush, and... It was heartbreaking when you find out you can't get it. So if anyone else has had a crush who's watching this video or if you have a crush currently or if you had a crush and you lost it or if you had a crush and then you're dating the person, then please tell me in the comments below. I would love to hear from everyone, guys, girls, teachers, husbands, wives, whatever you guys have or whatever your situation is. Please let me know about your early on crushes, your childhood crushes, even if it's a celebrity that you have no chance of being with. I wish you all the best of luck with that, but if you have a crush on anyone, I'm hoping for more real-life stories than celebrity crushes. But if you have any stories about your first crush and how it turned out, or if you guys still talk, or if you are currently talking to the person, you're best friends with the person, and you have a crush on them, then tell me in the comments below because I'd love to hear that. But my advice to you guys if you have a crush is kind of get it out of the way. If you really like the person as a friend, don't try to ruin it, but you'll never know if you don't take the chance. So I definitely say priority over losing your friend and taking a chance because you could be happy for the rest of your life or you can lose a good friend that you can work on becoming friends with again. So I definitely say take the leap and take the chance of asking your crush out. It depends what age you are as well. If you're 12 or 13 or 14, still just be close with your friend. And then when you guys get older, then express your kind of crush on her or him and see if you can make a relationship out of it. But if you're older, like 18, 19, 20, like me, and you have a crush on someone that you're still friends with, then just ask her out because if you guys are close friends, I know I had the story time commentary where I talked about being friend zoned. It happens, but sometimes it doesn't. So definitely take the chance because you never will know if you don't try. But definitely, guys, if you have a crush that you aren't even friends with, just go and ask him out. Try for it. You know, just go for it. I mean, if you don't ask, you'll never know. 
it doesn't matter if you get laughed at. It doesn't matter if you get embarrassed. Just shake it off. There's other girls out there. But if you really want your crush, go for her. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you get the girl. I hope you get the guy, whatever your field is, whatever you're going for. I hope you get them. But make sure you comment below on what your first crush was, what happened with it, where to go, are you guys still friends, etc., etc. Please tell me because I'm very interested because this is a topic that I know personally. So... I shared my story, you guys share yours, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, have a very, very, very Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Later, everyone.